Hey guys, Papa Pete back again for the second of three different uh, videos that I'm going to do on special releases from Intellivision Revolution that were released this weekend. Today's October 16th uh, at the recording of this video uh, at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo out in Portland, Oregon over the weekend. Man, fantastic. And thank you to Rev for sending me these ROMs to do a little bit of an expose. I'm not going to call it a review as of yet. I may be doing a review on them later on. Uh, as part of my NT Homebrew News and Spotlight, but more or less to show these to everybody, to let them know it's available, uh, the fantastic games that are being created. Look at all the games right here that uh, Television Revolution are releasing, and many different uh, companies are releasing different games, whether it's Electronite or Blah Blah Woof Woof, or I don't know, several others. You know, they're releasing in Television Collector, there's games uh, for the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and man, it's just so lucky to be in a television homebrew collector right now because man, it's hot. There's lots of games being made. And today I'm going to take a look at one and just show you some gameplay. We'll try it out. Uh, the latest game from my friend Brian Puddin, and that's his release of Fast Food. Now you may think that Fast Food's been available for a while, which it has been available as a ROM. Uh, from the Intellivision Collector. But in this case, Intellivision Revolution is giving you the full meal deal, the full physical release. Box, cart, manual, overlays, and a beautiful package. So this is available starting now. I would expect to see it on the Intellivision Revolution store very soon. And it's Brian's second release right after Keystone Cops, which has also been published uh, and distributed by Intellivision Revolution. So without any further ado, uh, let's thanks again, Rev, one more time. Uh, thanks to Brian for making these great games. And let's take a look at a little bit of fast food. Where is it? Right there. See, there's the box. There's the overlay. I haven't got either one yet. I've just got the ROM to play, and that's great. I'm going to get the physical release later on. So, all right. Well, let's switch it over and play. All right. Here we are. Got it on the old Ultimate Flashback. I love my Ultimate Flashback. Here we go. Let's see. I haven't... Uh, 2022 in Television Revolution. Gotta love it. And Brian's Man Cave presents. I told you what I thought about that. You watched the last episode of Indie Home Reducer Spotlights. I covered Brian's first release, Keystone Cops. So, Fast Food Plus. I am just going to play a game of the classic today. I'm going to leave the music on because, hey, you create the music, we're going to listen to it. Later on, if I was playing it over and over again, I might turn it off. But what I am going to look at, though, are the credits. Love looking at the credits for these games and giving, uh, giving props to the people who've been involved in this. Uh, because, you know, uh, there's no money to be made here. It's, it's just... It's just for the love of the system. And I appreciate uh, the people who put the work into it. Brian himself. Of course, Mark Thompson's famous for the manuals that he creates. Steve Jones for the boxes. And Phil Boland for the overlays. The true who's who of uh, the Intellivision homebrew physical packaging uh, scene. Frank Westfall as well. And special thanks, of course, to Rev. Right on. Brian's Man Cave 2022. That's beautiful. That's very well done. I like those uh, credit screens in these games. So how do I go back? I'll just tap that and let's play a game of the classics. See how well I do. Now, I know that the object is not to eat the blue pickles. Everything but the blue, or the purple pickles, sorry. I uh, like, don't do that. And I just got to sort of get a knack for the for the gameplay here. I think they're just worth... Oh, that's not the one I wanted. I got two purple pickles up at the top. I don't know what that even means. I think I get six or so, and uh, I lose. I'm not off to a great start, considering uh, this is the very beginning of the game. But you don't... No, I have not read a manual or anything for this. I know that this is a... You know, it's a port of a more common uh, of a title that's existed for quite a while but um i do remember playing it back in the day on the atari 2600 uh seems to me was it in the was it on the uh, in the arcade as well i'm not even sure about that for sure you know no, couldn't get them all just trying to grab as much as i can here I know they will speed up here shortly because I've played this once or twice before, sort of getting ready. And it seemed to me they 
getting fatter. Oh, there we go. Nice split screen. So now I suppose the speed will ramp up a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. And I, I, lo I lost a pickle. Well, if you get every stage you get through, you lose one of your purple pickles that you eat. Whoa, there's another one, though, Frig. Oh, thought I was bad there. We'll get that guy. Get out of there. I don't know if the there were different amounts of points to different types of food. Uh, my guess is they are, and possibly they're even worth different amounts depending on the speed that they're traveling. That would be a reasonable thing to... Ooh, get out of there. Sneak up through. Get both those. Oh, just that. And I'm not quite sure the significance of the green pickle, if it really means anything or not. Um, I know it doesn't hurt you, but... Maybe it's just, I think it's just that it's a similar shape, more, more for confusion than anything. Getting fatter. So that's through second. See if I lose, uh, I only had, I did, whoa. Boy, they come at you fast. Managed to dodge that one totally without getting it. Whoa. Jump them. They're coming fast now. And the, the control is pretty good. Like the disc it actually works well for this game. Whoa, there's a purple pickle again. I ain't. Oh, get up there. Double whammy. Surprise. Get away from that pickle. Oh, didn't get both of them. Oh, there's a purple pickle again. Shoot. That was coming at me fast and furious. Couldn't avoid that one. Whoa. Glad that was uh, one I needed because I wasn't going to get out of the way. Look at that. I wonder what... I wonder what... Uh, if it's a matter of time or if it's a points for uh, going to the next level. Oh, see, I was at a weird number of points, so I'm going to say it's probably time if you survive. So I had... I don't think I lost one that time. I think that's all I had was three uh, pickles. I don't think I lost one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, but I only... Oh, there's another one! Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going out. They're coming at me hard now. Get some fries. Pizza. Burgers. Ice cream, ice cream, burger. Oh, missed that one. Whoa, it's hectic. And you know what? Oh, that's it. High score, 1696. That's awesome. And you know, it's something to be said for games that you play. You pick up and play for a few minutes like this. It's not a long involved thing. It's just trying to get its best score as possible. And as you can see, they got six digits. So maybe you can get a really big score. But uh, I don't know. I think that's just fine. I love these little games that you just, again, pick up and play. Um, and you can pass the controller around. You try it, I try it. We'll see who gets the highest score. As opposed to something real involved and, and uh, long and whiny. But anyway, let's go back to the other screen. There we go. Okay, and the music's off. Uh, we'll start my music now, and we'll wrap it up saying, okay, this game is one of the great titles released. Here's a big picture again of all the different titles released by uh, from the Portland Retro Gaming Expo and a few other pictures like, look at this one here. Look at this guy way up top. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And uh, yeah, so this will be available very soon from Intellivision Revolution on the Intellivision Revolution homebrew store. Uh, right on Brian Puddin, his second homebrew physical release and rev as always uh bringing these games to all of us who love to collect them anyway guys thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with uh, me here today don't forget to hit like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next edition of old guys and old games including one more that i have from the uh portland retro gaming expo special release by intellivision revolution but you can see that again in the next video you take care pop a pee, pop a pee, the old Ass gamer. Pee, pop, pee, the old ass gamer. If you have 
Hey guys, this is Brian from Brian's Man Cave, and you're watching Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. What the hell?